It's been great so far. I uh, still got two more weeks, two and a half more weeks to go. So uh, I'm going to take full advantage and hopefully get another round of golf in, uh, a couple of nice dinners back at home, uh, enjoy the house, you know, lay on the couch, like totally just like chilling. So I'm excited to do that. What's, what's the general vibe like? It seems like it's a little bit different than last year. You guys are coming off a tough season. Now this year you're coming off winning a division title, winning your first playoff series. feels like the vibe has changed a little bit. Do you feel a buzz about that? Absolutely. I feel a buzz through, you know, even coming here and the fans and the media. I feel like everyone feels just an excitement and a joy of, hey, let's build off of last year because that was fun and let's do that again. So uh, I definitely feel that as well, and I'm excited and look forward to doing that again. What's your favorite part of Twins Fest? I mean, is it knowing that, you know, going to Florida and spring trains right on the corner? Is it getting more closer to the fan base? And, the, and you've endeared yourself to the fans with the way you act on the field. So just what's that all like? It's for me, it's getting to know new people I haven't met before, uh, seeing some familiar faces. Uh, you know, I joke, I've, I've seen Jake is, is a fan friend of mine. And I don't even call him a fan. I just call him a buddy. And so I see him around quite often, and uh, I see him every year. So I look forward to seeing people like that. And uh, my Cedar Rapids host family, they come out here sometimes, and I get to see them. So for me, it's like people I love and care about, I get to see each and every year. And that's what I look forward to most. And then obviously my brothers and teammates, um, coaches, staff, front office, uh, all the people I didn't get to see for the last three months because they were in Cabo or wherever they were at, uh, I look forward to seeing and getting to know and see how they looked and progressed in the offseason. You got a taste of regular season success. You got a taste of postseason success. It feels like we just sort of got an appetizer. What your skill level is? Just how motivating was the way and last year? And I know obviously you wanted to get further in the playoffs, but how much of a motivating factor is that for this year? The way last year ended. It's a, it's a huge motivator. You know, what I mean, to to taste that loss uh, against the Astros was not fun. Um, you know, it's tough. It still it hurts because. I thought, I thought we had it. I thought we had a really good team. We still do. It's not nothing. The team hasn't changed, and that's what I'm looking forward to most about this year. But uh, obviously, when you're in the moment and you can control what you can control, uh, I think you know we tried our best and we gave it our all, and that's all we can ask. But at the end of the day, it still sucks to lose. So uh, hopefully, this year we have a chance. Obviously, it's Major League Baseball. There's going to be change in the off season with the team, yeah. but the core group's pretty much similar to last year. Chemistry was really great last year too. How excited is that? And confidence is a huge competitive. Super confident, super excited uh, just to go hang out, uh, you know, for Carlos to make his chocolate chip pancakes on the road, for, uh, you know, Farmer to, to, you know, be hanging out and making fun of me on the bus, or not only me, but all the guys, all the rookies. So, uh, you know, it's fun to have those stories for, you know, not only myself, but all the guys. And um, you build such great bonds with each other. And so that's what I'm looking forward to most. And talk about chemistry. I think we've got a great team and, and a lot of chemistry going on. After living the success that you guys had last year, getting to the postseason, winning the you know third division title in five seasons under Rocco, what's the standard this year? How do, how do you push that forward? No, it's standards easy. You got to win a World Series. Uh, otherwise, it's a successful season. It, it wasn't successful. So, uh, you know, to me, I think we're looking forward to you know accomplishing that in the future, and and I hope it's in the soon near future. Uh, just personally, I think we have the guys to do it. I think we have all the pieces. I'm really looking forward to uh, getting after this year and uh, giving it our all. We hear during the luncheon, we hear from Rocco, we hear from Pablo, everyone talking about the younger guys and the confidence that they have in, in growing this organization through, you know, guys like yourself and, and the younger guys you've relied on this past season. How does that make you feel that the organization is so willing to invest in a younger group of people coming up? It makes me feel uh, amazed and excited because, uh, you know, it's not only myself, but it's all my friends, too, that I grew up playing with in the system uh, that's going to be helping our team win and helping the Minnesota Twins uh, win a World Series one day. And so uh, I definitely look forward to what's to come this year, but also in the next few years, because, like you said, we're so young and even our veteran leadership is very young. Like I mentioned, I'm like, Carlos feels like he's been in this game for 20 years with the wisdom he's gained and uh, the talent and the high level he's been playing at for the last, you know, nine, ten years, whatever it may be. Uh, I mean, it's just fun to watch him play, but he's still on the right side of 30. So I'm like looking at it like, you're still very young, man. You're in your prime. And so uh, to see guys like that, your veteran leaders in, in their prime, him and Buxton and Kepler and Polanco, and they're still killing it. And then as a young guy trying to em emulate them, and uh, man, it's huge respect because our team is exciting to watch. And like I said, when you're fun, I think your fan base also gets energized from the, from the youth, and uh, we have a good time. Is it kind of crazy to think that I looked this up last night just to make sure I was right, but I, I believe four of your five hits in the postseason were home runs, and you got to live those moments, you know, engaging with the fan base after those huge moments. Just what was that like, you know, being able to come up with those big hits? Uh, you know, it's great, but I, I think it's, you know, you said that four out of five hits. It's like, man, I'd rather get more hits, more singles. So maybe I got to tone it down and stop trying to think homer all the time. Uh, 
you get excited after you hit one it's hard it's really hard human nature tells you like yeah hit more you know get stronger hit more and um, that's when you start you know making mistakes as at the plate so uh, i'm going to start toning it down and try to hit more line drives and focus on just you know barreling the ball best of my ability and uh, we'll go from there you were telling the beat writers that your family had said that you they felt like you hadn't shown all of yourself quite yeah. yet in your career what more do you think you have to prove you know uh, they're they're so proud of me and i appreciate them so much and uh, i think that they just, they have feelings more than I do. You know, I mean, I couldn't tell you. I just, I just be me every day and uh, have fun, living life and playing the game that I love. But uh, I think what I can give to this community is, is just a great personality and, and flair to the game and an energy that uh, is unmatched. And that's all I can tell you is that I'm going to work my butt off each and every day to, to try to help this team, you know, win and, and have fun doing it. Well, now that you're an engaged adult, when's the wedding? Ah, we're working on next, next <laughs> off season. It's hard. You can't rush into it. We got a lot of people we would love to invite, but it's so hard to, you know, cut people off and make those decisions. Um, I would love to invite my whole team and this whole front office if I could, because they've been a part of my family really for the last, you know, seven, eight years here. So, um, but obviously I can't do that. It's going to be a little bit cost effective there. So, so I got to be smart about what we do, and uh, we're trying our best. But yeah, we're going to have next off season a little bit of fun. Headed into spring training, what are some things that are at the top of your list? Uh, you know, getting to see the guys, having fun again. Um, mini golf at the Tiger Woods putt putt uh, at Fort Myers down there, and then uh, going to Cooper's Hawk, the little restaurant down there. Uh, Jimmy P's Steakhouse is unbelievable steak. Uh, I also look forward to uh, being in the sun. It's been been a little while since I've been in above 60 degree weather, so I'm looking forward to that. I always love the spring and the summertime, so um, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to most.